I feel bad. We're kicking him out of his house. Cute little guy. Oh, he's got like he's a miniature lost. tail. Hello and good morning everyone. Today is the start of a big project we are really excited for. It's a little bit before 8 o'clock. We are having the guys come do the flooring downstairs in the basement to start our kitchen down there. Feels like we might have a lot of projects going on right now because of the backyard and everything. That was unplanned. That was not something we were planning on doing. Kitchen is something that we committed to a couple weeks ago so now we've gotten ourselves into two big projects. Thankfully the one in the basement will be totally taken care of. So I'll take you guys down and show you exactly what we're gonna do. I'm waiting for the guys to arrive. Hopefully this process just goes seamless and it's easy. Here is this area that we are working on. This area used to have some cabinets, like a countertop with a sink. Very random. Previous owners put it in, and it seemed like probably something they just got for a great deal, threw it in. It definitely wasn't created for this exact space because it was a little bit bigger. So we're going to put something right here that fits perfect, that's built for the space. But before, the flooring is really awesome. It's some great tile, but it doesn't go exactly to the wall. We just like the look of that LVP a little bit better, so we are going to replace that. And it wasn't very much money to do such a small space, so we just decided to go ahead and complete the project. We have talked a lot about we might not be here for forever rather than having the mentality of not ever wanting to do anything to our house we're like you know what we might be here longer than we think so I don't want to have that mentality of oh I don't want to do it because we might move oh I don't want to do that because we might move we're gonna live in the now and do things that we want to do to our house now and hopefully the things that we're doing to our house will make it have a little bit better resale starting on this project today can't wait to transform this whole space this is the kind of stuff the flooring does not go all the way to the wall so these are areas that will be fixed by getting brand new flooring it'll be nice it'll be an awesome change here is the before right Right here and it's gonna look so pretty when it's done while I'm waiting for those guys to come I guess I'm just gonna move along with my morning and get stuff done first thing I have to do is the floors kids are really great to sweep them for me but I'm gonna mop up I'm just gonna get going they just woke up just a little bit ago get stuff done today feels good I love whenever it's Monday I feel like I feel like I can get a lot done today it's halfway through the floors you can still tell they're shiny to hear got a knock on the door they are here he's just gonna pull the baseboards off I'll show you guys how quickly he's like this will be fast this is such a small area process is moving along quite quickly. He is already like half done here. Just barely started. Been here for like 35 minutes maybe. Just goes away super fast. This stuff is also super easy to install. I really like the color of the flooring. I think it's gonna be really pretty. He is down there working hard. It is looking so good. I'm so excited. He did the same material as this. It's looking really good. So just went and talked to him. And I was like, how do you like decide where you put each plank? And he's like, it's totally random. Basically, it's just whatever I'm feeling that day. He says he typically does mostly hardwood. And hardwood is so pretty, but I personally like the LVP. I just feel like it is very durable. I have really liked it. So anyway, things are getting going down there. And I think he's going to be done in no time. It's a very small area. I'm so grateful for I went and got ready. Just saw him walking back and forth, you guys. I think he's about done. I'm really excited about Excited to go see it. Next item on the list of things that we have to do today, I think we are going to rent a trailer to go dispose of all of this sod. It's really heavy, number one. And I think if we rent a trailer, it will be lifting it to something lower than the truck is a little bit higher. We have a lot on the to-do list today. It's coming together really nice in here. I love this new look. Check this out. This was so simple. He did this so fast. Now I know. I didn't really shoot it before to show you like a before and after. Before. It's not wildly different. It was still gray before, but now it has that kind of a plank look like we have upstairs in the kitchen, but it's gray. Then we're gonna be doing like a really deep bluish gray cabinetry here, white oak countertop. These are those really simple to install planks where they just kind of line them up like puzzle pieces, bang them into place, but they're set right on top of the existing tiles. So there was no tear out required, no mess. They didn't have to do anything to prep this area except rip off the baseboards, put on these planks, and then he just cleaned up and walked out. So it is done. This piece is done. Now up next, Adam Weekly from Weekly Design is going to be designing us some custom units to go in here and against that wall back there. And pretty soon this is going to be the perfect theater kitchenette. So the next thing up, you guys, is gonna be finding out what to do with this little area back there. And we have some great ideas. We talked to some neighbors, family last night, got some great ideas of how we wanna take some pavers, maybe make a nice little seating spot right there. That's actually, I'm gonna show you this really quick. Come here. This is the one spot in the entire backyard that actually has a view. So if we could turn this little area into a seating area, that is your spectacular view of the mountains right there. There's not another place in the yard that has a view. Any other place you're just looking into their kitchen or against this wall. So that is the one place that actually has a view of the mountains. So if we could turn that into a nice seating area, that would be fantastic. A great use of that space. We've got the cleanup to do today. 
today. So we're gonna go probably rent a little trailer from Home Depot, bring it in here and haul all of this stuff out, take it to the dump or something. I'm not actually sure. I'm being honest, I don't know what you do with solid. So I'm gonna look that up and find out. And we gotta dispose of that. See if any of the neighbors need it. Not much of it is usable, but if someone can use it, that's how we got the solid in the first place is from a neighbor who was willing to donate it to us. <laughs> I've just returned from the Home Depot. You may notice I got a little something extra attached to the truck here. We went ahead and rented a little trailer that we can throw this sod in right here. They did warn me that this has like a 1,700 pound capacity and that sod is very heavy. So one pallet of sod is 3,000 pounds. No duds heavy. You're telling us we hauled it out here. We know that from personal experience. We're gonna load it up and then we gotta keep an eye on the wheel well here and just see if it starts to sink too low to where it might be touching, then we gotta call it quits. Maybe do like a second load. I do have to say guys, this is the stuff that you gotta get when you don't usually haul things. We don't ever have anything that we haul around. We didn't have a ball and hitch. So I had the opportunity to go pick one of those up today. So we got our new little two inch ball hitch there, whatever the heck that thing is. But you do have a ball and chain. Ha ha ha, but I'm ching. <laughs> I gotta say guys, these newer trucks, they make it so easy. Like when I reverse back to go hook it up. Don't you have the trailer assist thing? Yes, there's like this little dotted black line that shows you where the ball is exactly. And I pulled it right up into this. It was so easy. Then when you reverse, it has like a little knob that you can adjust so that you can wow. really precision drive these things around. Sorry guys, this just occurred to me. Speaking of my truck, I know you're waiting for a big reveal. We went and took it in. We teased you did it in the vlog did it on insta that is coming for you soon just trying to decide if i want to fully fully customize it and make it the tshw mobile before we do the big full reveal or just show you what we had done i'm trying to like intentionally keep the camera this way anyways with that being said time to load up the sod all that into here let's go i need my gloves Tail. Dang it, he must have made this place his little home here. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Mana and Papa came in in the clutch, helping us clean up all the rest of it. You throw dirt on me. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry. Guys, that's actually an old football technique of mine. I never got to play, so sometimes I would get my jersey muddy. So when I got off the bus, people would tell me good game, but I never got in the game. I'd be like, honey, did we miss your play? Life hack, life hack. We've got this thing fully loaded up. It is ready to go. We're actually able to get it all in one load and still not break the weight limit on this. We're gonna haul it off to the dump, get rid of all of it, and then be back here. Shower number two underway. All right, we got all of the sod loaded into the trailer, took it to the dump, unloaded it. You guys, it was so hard. I wanted to cry. And I was like standing there in the situation at the dump, and I'm like, there's no other option. I just have to just like muscle through this. And I'm sure that I'm way weaker than Brandon and his dad. I was like, I just have to muscle through it and finish it. It's not gonna get done if I just stand here. Came home, sprayed down the street, sprayed down the trailer. I'm gonna go take the trailer back here in a minute. I was wise enough though today to do a crock pot dinner. I made these dinners a long time ago when I went to a crock pot class. So I made all of these freezer meals. This one was really awesome. I just added in four cups of water, threw the bags in, and then I just barely added some noodles. And so it should be ready here in a minute. So I'm so glad I planned ahead into dinner because I don't think I have it in me to do dinner. I don't even have it in me to do my hair. Just gonna air dry tonight. I'm not doing my makeup or anything. This is so much manual labor. But we are so grateful to Brandon's parents for coming and helping us. That was tough. And they didn't complain. They just helped. You were awesome. Mom and Papa, thank you. You guys are awesome. Moving on with the night, I'm gonna go get the trailer returned and have dinner. We got the basement undergoing some renovations, some modifications. We have now cleaned out the sod from the back and side yard. We're gonna be making some improvements there, but that's not the only thing. Getting a little bit of a tweak and a facelift. Kruby Dooby Doo's bike has got a new look, new accessory, if you will. The GoPro branded decal. Dude, that could not have fit more perfectly on this back fender right there. Yeah. Literally end to end. GoPro with the sticker colors. Oh my gosh, did you love it? I love it. Dude, I think it is perfect. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. This is how we bring them sticker like right there, I feel like. Yeah. Maybe just like our logo right there. I don't want a headlight right here. A headlight, maybe like a KB12 with like yeah. your shield or something. We gotta absolutely do that, dude. Before we do that, it looks like it's about to start raining. I think it's getting pretty cloudy out right now. Why don't we give it a quick spin and just show off this flashy new logo, should we? Mm -hmm. 
fresh in from cruise ride out there dude I gotta say your bike has been the hit of the neighborhood today literally quite literally gathering crowds everywhere you go like people coming up like oh can I sit on it can I ride it what is that is that a bullet bike he went to the park all these kids come over he parks it in the front yard a bunch of kids come over I feel like all day today has just been a bunch of kids wanting to see that bullet bike so I think that thing was a massive hit don't you think yeah I think the GoPro sticker could only add to that now we gotta take a look at the soup that mom's been making we got some sausage in there I mean there's noodles and stuff what do you think dude a lot of veggies a lot of tomatoes <laughs> I want to go mac and cheese. Yeah. Okay, mac and cheese. This crock pot meal that I made, Very it's good. disgusting. Nobody likes it. You didn't know. We already picked up the camera and talked about the meal. Oh my gosh! And decided that he wanted mac and cheese instead, and then like you walked in right then, and I was like, Ugh, let's just try it real quick. Yeah, no, it's gross. It's just straight gross. Just it's not good. It's not good. It's I not told good. mom, I can't say. I, I feel comfortable saying that because it's not like I'm blaming you. You didn't make this per se. I'm blaming whoever's recipe this was that you put into a bag many, many months ago. This will not be on the blog. Well, oh, I just told the kids to just eat the noodles. It's not good though. I got a confession to make. I think mom knows this though. What? We ended up getting Chick fil A tonight. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Why is it so bright white? It's so white. I'm an angel. You are an angel of death. We had a pretty big day. We had the flooring put in downstairs. Yep, uh, all moved the all the sod. Yep. But you guys, tomorrow morning we have a guy coming to give us some information on some pavers to work on the backyard. We are theorizing and putting together a plan for the backyard. Very excited about that. We also got mom's birthday coming up this week. Don't miss it, you guys. Some truck action going on. May do a little bit of a reveal, so make sure you stick around for that. Big um, things happen. Basement going down. A lot of stuff. A lot of action. A lot of things turning and in the works. So you guys, make sure you subscribe. You come back. You hang out with us every single day. Because we always have fun. We always love Even you. if we have crappy dinners. We so. fix it with Chick fil A. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you come back because I'm getting older. It's gonna be fun to watch. We love you all so much. Good night, See everybody. You later. my muscle.